guys, this is uh, Svein back again on, at the SRS channel and today we're gonna have a look at the fourth and final of the four Turtles brothers and for the fourth time we're looking at this brown shipping box and again on the difference on it is the name Leonardo, logo, warnings and stuff like that. So, we just get that one out of the way. And over to this box. And once again, this box comes packed in a plastic bag. So we got that out of the way. And uh, yeah. On this box we have the face of Leonardo on the turtle shield there, or sewer lid. You got the image of his katanas on the sides there. You got the name Leonardo on the bottom. You got the same as on all the other boxes. HS14+, plus, Super 7, Ultimates on the top. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the back. As well as... Uh, Super 7 logo and contents, one figure with accessories. So we're just gonna take off the slip cover and then we're down to the inner box itself. And as with the three previous figures, you have a nice display window. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the front, the name Leonardo, and uh, the packaging theme is the same as with all the other figures. Got a sewer themed motif, got the Turtles logo on the top, and all that stuff. So the only difference this time, it's still Leonardo's bio. And if you want to, you can pause the camera and read this on your own time. But uh, that's pretty much it for the box. So let me open it up and take out the contents. And here we have the packaging. It comes packaged just like all the other figures we've looked at so far in this line. We have The homage to the Playmates figure in the unpainted weapon uh, sprue here with the weapon rack and everything. You get three pairs of extra hands as per usual. I think they all came with just three extra pair of hands with the exception of I think it was Raphael that came with four pairs. But yeah, that's it for those. Then you have Leonardo here. Comes packaged just like every figure we looked at so far. With the painted version of the weapons from the weapon rack here. As you can see. You got the turtle communicator both uh, open and closed. You got the pizza. And you get uh, the alternate head sculpt. Now I mentioned in the review of Raphael his legs came, came with a rubber band holding the feet. Uh, Michelangelo and Donatello did not but they all come with uh, twist ties for the body so far. Neither Michelangelo or Donatello had this extra plastic piece to protect the belt, but Leonardo does. Just gonna try to show you here. So Leonardo comes packaged or secured in the packaging, just like Raphael did. Now, to save some time here, I'm gonna do like I've been doing so far with the figures. I'm gonna 
take everything out of the plastic trays and I'm gonna put them on the shelf here accordingly and uh, I'll be right back and uh, here is everything out of the box and splayed out just like it was in the packaging everything in the bottom tray is on the left here you have the unpainted sprue with weapons and uh, extra hands on the right here you have all the painted weapons turtle communicator pizza alternate head and the figure and uh, yeah as always go past the accessories here and check them out the homage to the playmates weapons here we got the uh, two katanas, the various edged weapons, and uh, the two ninja stars, and the weapon rack in the middle. It uh, pegs to uh, to hold the weapons, and uh, yeah, with the stand piece, and uh, can this one stand? Nope, <laughs> probably need to do some heat treatment on it. It probably is warped as you can see here, but it's supposed to stand up like this and hold all the weapons if you choose to liberate them from their sprue prison here, which I won't. Uh, furthermore, you get two closed fists with painted nails there. I think all of them have come with closed fists so far. But, uh, and all the extra hands here have the hinge in out while the hands on the figure have the up down hinge or any weapon holding but yeah all the other hands have this type of hinge the up down or the in out hinge i mean so that's it nicely painted and sculpted as per usual you also get a set of weapon holding hands just the same as the one that comes on the figure straight out of the box but with the in-out hinge. These are also nicely painted fingernails. Nicely sculpted. We've seen these hands like, uh, this is the fourth time. <laughs> so they come with the same hands. And that also includes this gripping hands or posing hands or whatever you want to call them they do too have the in out hinge there painted fingernails so nothing new on those what else there's nothing new about is the various edged weapons you got this bladed one and as with all the others, silver on the blade and on the end here, with brown wrapping around the handle. Also seemed like it had the black wash treatment. You also get another one of these, silver, brown wrapping on the handle, some minor black wash. You get one of these again silver brown wrapping on the handle black wash as i said we've seen this for the fourth time now uh, you get two throwing stars or ninja stars with the hole in the middle silver painted 
five points. Also seen for the fourth time. Uh, I think we've seen the turtle communicator four times now too. Nicely painted, sculpted like a like a turtle shell. And as you can see, antennas and this one is slightly warped though. But uh, as I mentioned in the previous review, I've seen various applications of paint on this. Some have a little bit more silver on the side buttons there. Some other uh, buttons are to a more or less degree painted. See only one painted button here. The screen is painted blue. As I mentioned in the previous review, I thought that this button over here, or maybe a camera lens or whatever it is, on this one it's painted silver. I don't think it was painted on any of the three previous figures that uh, I can remember. But it's painted here and it wasn't on Donatello that I reviewed previously here. But yeah, that's the turtle communicator. I assume the mold is the same for all of them, so there's nothing new to it. With the shell molding painted brown and green with some black details there so yeah it's what we've seen so far same goes with this pizza it's less burnt than the Donatello stuff but yeah you got the matte finish on the crust you got the gloss finish on the cheese and pepperoni got the brighter bottom on the pizza slicer I think on Donatello it was more burnt but uh, yeah still got the pizza it's the same mold as on all the others so yep now to the what's new this time around is Leonardo's Catanas here you get two of those with or without the warp. Mine are both slightly warped, but I will fix that once the review is done. You can do it with either a hairdryer or boil up some hot water. Stick them in for a, about five seconds or so, depending on the warp. Take it out, straighten it out, hold it under cold water and it will set again. But yeah, nicely painted blade in silver hair, gold on the hand guard, gold on the pommel on the back there with brown wrapping around the handle. And that goes for both of the katana swords. Really beautiful. Then you have this extra head sculpt now i will comment on this trying to get this head sculpt out of the packaging was a real pain in the ass i'm telling you that right now uh, i wish they came packed in a way that the clamshell didn't exactly wrap around the items it would be much better with a top piece to hold everything in instead of drowning the pieces in the in the tray it's like uh, beaten up and everything uh, you can see all the stress marks on the tray here and i really had to fight getting the parts out with both donatello and uh, leonardo this time around but yeah here's the alternate head sculpt nice shading on it blue bandana you can see some texture not sure if the camera picks it up but there is some texture to the bandana 
And there you see his teeth. The white eyes. The furrow. And the face there. I really love this uh, optional head sculpts. They're amazing. I, I like them a lot better than the Playmates version. As we're going to have a look at right now. Here is the one that's based on the Playmates figure with the shorter bandana on the end there. Still got the texture on the bandana. I'm not sure if the camera actually picks it up. But uh, he got uh, showing his teeth on one side there. And uh, again, it's built on the same body as the previous three turtles. The only difference is the color on the paddings here on the bandana and Leonardo having this uh, crossover harness here. It had have an L on the buckle and it's got a slight texture to the belt and the harness here. And another difference is the way the weapons attached, you got the harness piece on the back here with painted in ribbets there. And uh, yeah, uh, weapon storage. You just, when you slide one in, there's an indentation there to make room for where's it? the other sword here. It goes on top of the first one, like so. I want to have them positioned a little bit up, like so. That way, the sword shows from the back there. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, been through the articulation with the first turtle, Raphael. So there's, we can skip on that. The uh, only difference is his skin tone. It's another shade of green. So yeah, let me swap out the he swap out the heads, and I'll be back with a, a comparison between all four. Hold on. And here are all the four brothers finally together. And uh, yeah, this looks freaking awesome to me. Uh, I have a few points to make here though. Uh, prior to me buying these uh, four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures, I've been watching reviews on YouTube for Oh, a good year, well over a year, maybe. And, uh, and that what tipped me over to get this, or at least a representation of the figures. As I said in a previous uh, review, I actually wanted the uh, NECA Mirage comic book versions, but uh, due to them being so expensive, I settled for this for a lot cheaper. I kind of get the comic book look anyway with uh, alternate head sculpts and all four hair. So yeah, I'm happy with having these. Now, as I said, I've been watching a few reviews. Let me adjust the figures slightly here. And I'm going to remove the pizza box from Mikey's hands for a second. I've noticed, also, I'm going to need to remove Ralphie's size there for a second. Now, I have, as I said, watched a few reviews on these figures. 
that made me decide that I wanted to get them. Now, there's something I have noticed by looking at the set I have here. Now, on Ralph, let's see if I can catch this on camera, but I don't know if you can see it here, but the buckle parts right next to the R here are painted in a silver or a gunmetal gray as well as the ring around the R. Not sure if you can pick it up, but it is. Taking a look at Mike having a similar belt. There is no paint whatsoever on neither the buckles or the ring around the M. And uh, I can't really remember because I've seen so many videos, but what I do remember very well is Leonardo's belt. Because on the reviews I've seen both the ring around the L, the piece, the buckle piece here next to the ring, as well as the buckle piece for the crossover harness on the side, which both Donatello and Leonardo share. These pieces have been painted silver or a gunmetal gray color. It's not painted on my copy of Leonardo and uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe mine is a second batch or something and they just skipped on the paint. I don't know. Maybe it is a uh, version issue uh, I'm not sure looking also at my Donatello there is no paint around the circle that surrounds the D no paint on the buckle next to the circle or no paint on the piece for the harness here it seems on my copies that the only one that has painted details on the belt except for the letter inside the circle is my Raphael. Now if I can focus here Donatello, Leonardo and Michelangelo are all the regular version but for some reason I could not find a regular version on my online store for Raphael. My Raphael is a variant version, but from what I've been told, there's no difference to the figure between the this variant version and the regular version, other than Raphael's uh, and painted weapon sprue being in another shade of brown. That's the only difference I've been told there is. I've talked to like three, four different guys on YouTube and they've all said that they can't find a difference between their uh, variant version and the uh, regular version of Raphael other than the obvious color in the paint of the weapon sprue. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but luckily on my Raphael, the buckle parts aren't all that visible anyway. You can barely notice. Uh, I think I bet you didn't even notice until I told you that uh, his buckle was painted and not the other three turtles here so uh, yeah but uh, I have seen reviews of Leonardo that ha had an obvious silver paint on the buckles and uh, I was kind of worried because uh, 
I actually didn't quite like that look. I, I like how these look. And uh, I don't mind that Raphael's buckles are gunmetal gray or silver. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with this. It's perfectly okay. But uh, anyways, there we have it. Here are my four turtles. Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo and Michelangelo. The representation from the turtles from back when I was a kid. And yeah, these are, and I'm, I've said this over and over again. These will be the only Super 7 <laughs> Ultimates figures that I will get, especially from the Turtles line. I'm perfectly fine with having just the four Turtle characters. Now with that said, I might cave in and fall for the temptation of looking at some Thundercats or Monsters of the Universe uh, figures from Super 7, but for the Turtles, this is it. And uh, that was my review on the Super 7 Ultimates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo figure. And uh, yeah, as you can see, What's on the table here is what you get with the figure. You get the unpainted weapon rack as usual. You get painted versions of said weapons. You get uh, three pairs of extra hand. And you get the open and unopened communicator as well as a slice of pizza. And uh, yeah, and of course you get the alternate head sculpt, which uh, I will display, display my figure with. i put him in a final pose for you here, guys. Like he's about to make a super swing or something. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. That was four reviews of four figures from a line of figures I didn't think I would get into but uh, as I've said before it ends with these four characters I have them now as a representation on my shelf and uh, we'll see in the future if I jump into any other toy lines from Super 7 until then, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And as always, come nuts in the comments. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.